last, we can retire and give up this life of crime. Hi, it's Apple1975, and welcome to Elite Dangerous on the Xbox One. Uh, today, I was just performing an exercise of cleaning out my carrier, spring cleaning, selling off all of those stolen wares that I've collected up over the past few months. And the subject of whether we make any money doing piracy came up again. Um, now, I'll be honest, all the valuable wares I got on my carrier from stolen activities are actually all mostly from PvE piracy. You mostly get, you know, the low temperature diamonds, the all the precious stuff, that all comes from PvE piracy, and the PvP piracy is the few tons of animal meat and fish and the random stuff. So in this exercise of cleaning out my carrier, I was having a think as to whether we make any money at piracy. And then I remembered that this year, we've made a lot of money from being pirates. Uh, this year has been our most lucrative year to date, and certainly, I mean, we've made more money by April this year than we made in the last two years, I would hedge a guess and say, uh, just from um, the PPI scam. So basically, the way PPI works is we basically attack people's BGSs until they pay us off not to attack their BGS. Um, it was basically something Harry Polo came up with. It's basically an extortion racket. Um, we are generally attacking player groups that are bigger than us and have more members, so it can't really be seen as bullying. Uh, but yeah, Harry Polo came up with this as a way of making lots of credits. Uh, we thought about it, we didn't think it would be as successful as it's been, um, but so far it's netted us 2.4 billion credits since the start of the year. And that's just in payments from other players. If we were to factor in the amount of money we've made from, say, running the conflict zones that we've started and stuff like that, we have made an absolute fortune out of being pirates. Uh, the only thing is, it takes a bunch of pirates working together, coordinating and planning and scheming. And that's never really been our strength. You know, complex plans and sticking to them is not really where our strength lies. Our strength lies in, you know, very simplistic plans, coming up with a very few simple ideas, working them out and then executing them. So the PPI thing has been a different change of pace for us. Um, our most recent attack has hit some snags as we we might have found a group that we're attacking aren't really active in the game and may not want to pay us for not attacking their BGS but you know these are the snags and pitfalls we're going to run into and on the whole it's certainly paying a lot more than it is to steal stuff from park commanders in open space however we will still be stealing stuff from commanders in open space because that is where the fun is. It's like the original video game Pirates. You know, the joy of the original video game Pirates was flying around the Spanish main and just looting and pirating. It was a beautiful game. I was addicted to that game. I played hundreds of hours on that game. Absolutely adored it. I even rescued every member of my family. Which if anyone actually did complete that subplot, my god it was a ball ache and got ridiculous towards the end. Um, and then your character got really old and ended up having to retire due to their wounds and stuff. Yeah, it was very difficult to complete the whole thing properly. Uh, but, you know, I've made a decent amount of money from my pirating of other players. But, in terms of PPI, that has expanded our portfolio into a place where we actually are making money as pirates. Uh, we're actually making billions of credits, ridiculously. Um, which is just hilarious. We've we've kind of reached that end game in Pirates, the old video game on the Amiga. You used to build up your fleet and build up your fleet, and eventually you had an end that you could attack bases on the ground and storm castles and take over ports. And that was kind of like an end game thing. That was something you could do when you were really powerful. Um, and we've kind of reached that point with our piracy in Elite Dangerous. We are now the pirates that have built up enough that we can actually take down big scores and big targets and work together and coordinate. Uh, since giving up our own BGS to be free of it uh, so people can no longer hold it against us at ransom, uh, we are now travelling the verse in our pirate fleet of carriers uh, causing mayhem and chaos and in terms of profitability and in terms of how much we've made this year from piracy it's astronomically more than we've ever made before as pirates. Um, we have reached our end game, really. 
and it's only going to get better. Uh, with Odyssey, I'm sure there's going to be, you know, more kidnapping, silly stuff, taking people hostage. You know, we may even be able to take people hostage inside of stations. Uh, if someone's in an anarchy station, you know, we can have them sat with us at the bar and uh, have their friend have to come and pick them up and stuff like that. It could be all sorts of fun and shenanigans. When we get hold of Odyssey, we're going to have a lot of things we want to try out. And until then, we're content making money as pirates in Elite Dangerous. And don't worry, we'll still take the time to steal that one ton of tea from you because it's funny. Anyway, that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. And remember, people... Ha, 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 ha.